Hello everyone, welcome back to the third part of the Rust type conversion among the integers. Today we will discuss type conversion between two different size integers. If this is your first video of this playlist, make sure to check earlier videos before you start this one. Now let's begin. Type conversion of integers is tricky in Rust and we have already talked about why it is so in previous installment of the series. Today let's explore type conversion from smaller size integers to larger integer types. Let's see this with the example of U8 and U16 type. When we convert U8 to U16, we actually do not have to worry about any kind of error or bugs. As you can already predict, the entire 8 bits of U8 type can be transferred and stored in U16 variable without any issue. Let's have the biggest number that can be stored in U8 type of integers and convert it to U16 type. Run the code. Now let's check what is happening behind the scene. When we declare 255 as UA type, it is stored as this. When we convert it to U16 type, it is stored as this. You can predict this representation for all other scenarios from smaller size integers to larger size integers of unsigned data types like U16 to U32, U8 to U64, U16 to U64, U64 to U128 etc. I will not discuss every scenario here. Now let's see what happens when we convert a U16 type to U8 type? Let's see this with an example. Here we assign a smaller number to U16 variable. The reason behind taking a smaller number is this number can also be stored in U8 variable. Run the code to see the output. We got 240 as it is. The only difference is this 240 is a U8 type rather than the U16 type which is initially we have declared to. What is happening behind the scene is this is how 240 is stored in a U16 type variable. When we try to convert it to U8 type as U8 cannot store all the bits of a U16 type integer, what it does is it simply obtains the last 8 bits information only. In this, the first 8 blocks of information do not make sense as all are filled with 0 only. So, in this case, we get an entire number perfectly instead of getting some strange output. We can verify the above explanation by putting a larger number 
then what a UI type can hold on to. Let's say we put 300 instead of 240 in this case. Representation of 300 as U16 type in memory looks like this. When we convert it to UA type, it will obtain only last 8 bits of information which looks like this. When we convert this from binary to decimal, it becomes 44. Let's see this in code and verify it. Change this 240 to 300. Run the code. And here it is, we got 44 in the output. That's all for this video. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you have any doubt, feel free to comment down below. I will try my best to reply you all. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.